Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Today is my favorite type of video. They are my favorite here to watch on YouTube. It is the empties video. So if you like seeing what I've gone through or you like seeing like what products work and what don't, just keep watching. If you have not already subscribed, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would mean so very much to me. And please let me know if you've used any of these products because I'm always curious to know what people have used and what they have not. First off is a soap. This is something that I got at Gordman's quite a while ago, actually. And I've found it in the back of the cabinet under the sink. So this is a honeysuckle hand soap. It actually smelled pretty darn good but it was very watery. Um, I don't like watery soaps. I want something with a little bit more viscosity so that it like just, you don't need to use quite as much to lather your hands and to get your hands clean. So I probably wouldn't purchase this again because it was $2.99 and plus all of our Gordmans around here are going out of business. So it's not probably an option. Next up is from Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell, oh my gosh. This is the detangler. It is the one liter thing or container. This is, it says it's a detangler, but it works like a conditioner and the conditioner doesn't work. It's like a leave-in conditioner. It's confusing. Anyway, this was something I inherited from my mom because she didn't like it and I was trying to use it up. So I did finish it. I'm so excited. This one is okay. Um, I like it better than some of the other Paul Mitchells that are out there, but it's not something that I would purchase myself because I have other conditioners that I like better. From Tom's of Maine, this is the Wicked Fresh mouthwash. I really like this. It does not have peppermint in it because peppermint I have a sensitivity to. It makes my mouth really sore and um, painful and it kind of develops the more I use it. This smells really good. It does not have any like sugary taste to it or any alcoholy taste to it, which is kind of nice. I mean, it is alcohol free. So I do like this. I also really like that Tom's partners with TerraCycle. So I keep all of my Tom's. I need to request a envelope or whatever and get them all recycled because I have quite a few of them. But at least you know they're actually being recycled that way, which is really important. From Corlane, this is the um, Sun Radiance Nourishing Shampoo with Lang Lang Wax. I liked the smell of this. I liked the way it cleaned, but when I shampooed with this, my scalp smelled funky. Like I would put my hair up in a bun and then I would get like this funky smell. So I think it was from this and I didn't really like that. It was kind of a soury smell and it's not like I left the shampoo in my hair or anything. So it's not something that I would purchase. I think it's nice, but if you have the same type of body chemistry as me, it probably won't work for you. Um, or maybe you won't notice that smell. I don't know. It was something that just kind of bugged me. From Skintimint, this is the Vanilla Sugar um, Shaving Cream. This was very, very sweet. Um, kind of a sicky sweet. I didn't really like it. I used it up, but it's not one that I would purchase again because it was just a little too sicky sweet for me. I got so much in here. From Bath & Body Works, this is Coconut Lime Verbena. I forgot how much I love this scent. Oh my gosh. It's so good. This was uh, lime, lemon verbena, and coconut water. It's so, so good. I wish they would bring this back as part of their line, like permanent line. Again, I would totally buy it every day because I just, I loved it. I'm knocking things over. Champagne toast soap. Oh, I should say this was also the creamy luxe soap. And I don't see, no, this is the deep cleaning. I really like the deep cleansing. I like the creamy luxe, but I haven't seen those lately. So let me know if you know what's going on with Bath and Body Works, why they've changed all of their soap formulas. Champagne toast. This is champagne, berries, and tangerine. This smells nice. Um, it's a good scent. I would repurchase this scent. This to me was kind of a mix between the honeysuckle from Gordman's and the deep cleansing. So it has 
it's not quite as thick as I would like it, but it's not as watery as the one from Gordman's. I don't know. They've been doing funky things at Bath and Body Works, and I'm not really enjoying what's going on. I thought we'd go through some of the like foily packet type things. First up is these from Skin Food. These are cleansing wipes with daily brightening cleansing tissue with rice. This are These are really nice. I actually don't use them very much on my face. I use them for swatches and they work really well for that. You get 80 of them in this, which is a really good amount. Um, yeah, 80, I was like, is it 80 or 90? So I really do like these. I would wear them, use them on my face, but I just have been using them because they're cheap for my swatches. But yeah, I do like those. I have another packet of them. They're locked up in my office right now, unfortunately, because I haven't been able to get them out. Then from Sephora, these are almond skincare socks. These were, this was okay. It's not like the one that's supposed to peel. It's supposed to just like nourish and hydrate. I didn't really feel like it hydrated that much, but it did smell really nice, which was a bonus. From AM, this is Dead Sea Minerals and Vitamin C Serum Cleansing Wipes. These were actually, they cleansed really well um, and they took off the makeup really well. So I liked that. I probably wouldn't purchase them just because they were a little bit more harsh than my Neutrogena's. And um, I think they're way more expensive than that, but they did actually take off my makeup, which is always a plus because that doesn't always happen. All right, some eye under eyes. I've been trying to use up these masks because I have so many of them. Dr. Babar, these were 3D hydrogel. They were okay. I don't remember them being outstanding or anything. They're, they weren't my favorite, but I did not like them. The Shiseido ones, same thing. They were, they had retinol in them. And I feel like they did like actually smooth and I felt tighter under my eyes when I finished with them but they're not my favorite. I've had some other ones that I've been using in August already, which I'll show you in my next empties, but I've really liked those. These ones went bad. I'm so mad. These were from crystals.com. They are actually are supposed to have little diamonds in them, but when I finally got around to using them, they were all dried out and just not, not useful. So they're going just in the trash, unfortunately. I did two of the Wander Beauty Under Eye Baggage Masks. I really like these. I feel like they're really hydrating. They stay really well, which is a big thing for me. They don't migrate. So I did, I do enjoy these. I wouldn't purchase them, but I have gotten them in so many beauty boxes that I'm not worried about ever like running out of them. Some acne dots, they're my favorites. I use them quite often, unfortunately, because I break out quite often. And then I used up one of these. This is the, who is this from? Adwin, I don't know who Adwin is, but it was really cute, it was the little bunny nose. Um, and it's supposed to put, it's like the three step, like the strawberry from Tony Moly. One that opens up your pores, one that's the pore strip, and then one that's supposed to tighten. And I, this didn't have enough juice to use each one of the steps twice. Well, the first and third one, um, hold on, back up. This didn't have enough. Usually the Tony Moly I put on my nose, then I put on my forehead, then I put on my chin, or the chin and then the forehead. And then I grab extra pore strips and use them. And then I use the pore tightening because there's so much serum in there. This did not have enough for my nose and my chin, so I just did my nose and my chin. So it had like an extra amount of serum, but not too, so I probably would go back to the strawberry just for that. I didn't feel like it worked any better or worse than the strawberry one. From Pure, this is the Get A Grip Endurance Eyeshadow Primer. Oh my gosh, this stuff um, is very grippy. If you make a mistake with your makeup or you go in with too dark of a shade, it's, it's going to stay there. It's going to not let you really blend it out. It's going to grip it and it's going to stay there. Uh, the main problem I had with this was this type of a packaging because look at it like it's not very user friendly and you're supposed to rip it across the top which then you would have wasted so much of it this had a lot in it and I probably could have gotten at least a week or two um, more but because of the way the packaging was a lot of it dried out and was crusty that I kept having to pick off on the top 
from Moschino, Moschino, whatever. Um, this is the bath and shower gel in the gold fresh couture. This one smells really good. It's, it's kind of citrusy, kind of a little more mellow, some like musky woods in there. I like it a lot. Um, it was a good sh shower gel. Would not repurchase any of the perfume stuff though because it's so expensive. Paris Hilton, this is the dual action cleansing gel. I got this in my Ipsy Plus like a year ago. It was pretty decent, like didn't really have a scent to it. Did have like, you know, like the crushed diamond kind of look to it. So I don't know if it had anything actually in it. It cleansed all right. It, you know, had kind of average lather. It was fine. Not something that I would seek out, but it was it was fine. My favorite toothpaste, the Cinnamon from Tom's. I love it. Uh, I go through it quite a bit. My next one will not be Cinnamon though. Big, big shocker, right? Um, because I found something else on sale. We got another soap. This is Turquoise Waters. This is the same as the Champagne Toast. It's a little more watery than I like, but this one did smell good as well. This was Bergamot, Daylily, and Sea Spray. I think I like Champagne Toast more, but this one was a nice aquatic type of scent. It was good. Two uh, scrubs from Zany Laney. Unfortunately, they are no longer, but if you do, if you are interested, let me know and I will um, get you a hold of Laney so that you can um, do a custom order for them. This first one is Wannabe, which is grapes, vanilla, cream, and soda. This is based on Spider-Man. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good. I love it. Really, really a nice scent. That one's really good. I think I have too many scents going on because I keep sneezing. Then I have Doom, 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 which is based on something which I can't remember what it is based on. I'm sorry. It is caramel, lime, and agave. This one was really sweet. I don't really get the lime in there. It just was like caramel, like just sweet, sweet. And it was fine. I mean, like sometimes you want sweet, sweet, but I like the ones that have a little more tartness to them. All right, this conditioner. Oh my gosh. I've had this conditioner for probably 20 years, somewhere around there. Uh, I bought this when I was in high school and um, it was buried in the back. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna use it. And it still worked. It's supposed to be one that's a color enhancing and I don't know if you can tell, I have a few kind of more pinky highlights in my hair that's from this conditioner. So I've stopped, it's been over a week since I've used this. So it's sticking with my hair, which is pretty good. I wasn't expecting that, but this was from Freeman. I wish they still made these cause they did like a blonde one too. Um, this smells really good. It smells kind of like tart cherries, which is just awesome. It has cherry in it. That's what gives it that. You have to make sure you don't get it on your walls though, because it will, you know, give your walls a tint as well. Um, it has cherry bark and henna in it. I liked it. It's not the most moisturizing conditioner, uh, but it, it's really fun. And sometimes you just need fun. Oh, I have another scrub. This is Horologist from Zany Lane too. This was citrus, st strawberry, and pomegranate. This one is a nice tart one too. I don't like it quite as well as like the grape one. I feel like that like that one a little bit better. This was the older type formula though, and it had it 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 didn't wash down quite as well. Like it left you a lot more greasy than her newer stuff does. I finished a cleansing balm. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I scraped it all the way. This stuff is great. I really like like it, it does a really good job of taking off your makeup and it's like fragrance free. It it will go rancid though, so make sure you use it up. It's smelling a little rancid right now because it's been sitting in the heat for a while. But yes, this is a really great um, cleansing mom. Would recommend it. Kate Somerville, finally finished this. This was the Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. I don't, I didn't really find it did made any difference. Like I didn't use it AM and PM. Like it said, I, I used about four different serums at a time, alternating days and alternating nights. And it was just fine. I was really trying to get rid of it at the end cause I was really just sick of it. Um, I think 
if you may have more mature skin than I do, it might work better. But for me personally, it just, it didn't really do anything. From Moschino again, this is the body lotion of the Gold Couture. It smells really good too. These are not usually the most moisturizing of lotions, the ones from the perfume places. So take that into consideration. But if you want something that smells really good, that one smells really good. Re, um, Biolage, this was the multi-benefit styling spray. It's like a leave-in conditioner. This like smells like Biolage. It has a very distinct uh, smell to it. It's the air-dry glotion, that's what it is. It worked pretty well. I feel like it did a pretty good job of being a leave-in conditioner. Was it the best? No, I have other ones that I've liked better. So I wouldn't purchase that one again. I got that one free actually from Ulta. It was one of their like platinum perks, but yeah, it was okay. I love this one. This is the vitamin C serum from Ula Hendrickson. This is the truth serum. This stuff works so well. It smells so good. There's stuff left in it though. I wish I could get every like drop of it out, but I really love this. I feel like this is the best vitamin C serum that I have tried. It is kind of pricey, but it's worth it in my opinion. Body wash, this is the Ariel shower gel. I really like this one. This one smelled really good. I think this is my favorite of all the princesses that I've tried. It smelled really good, worked really good. Um, yeah, just all over, really enjoyed it. That's one that I might seek out and try to purchase again. From the body shop, this is Fuji green tea shower gel. This was pretty good. I mean, the Body Shop shower gels are not my favorite type of shower gels. I feel like they're not quite cleansing enough. I want something that's going to be just, I don't know, a little bit more there. And it's not quite there. So they're okay. The scent was pleasant. It was, you know, green tea. Beauty Blender. This was one of the pretty beauty blenders from my Sephora haul. And um, I've been finding that these are not lasting as long as they used to i don't know if they've changed or what what it is but it just it wasn't working very well anymore so it got tossed i think i used it two months i don't think i got the th full three months from it this lip gloss uh, lipstick has gone kind of rancid unfortunately it smells i mean it looks so beautiful but yeah it smells funky this is the pretty vulgar um, liquid lipstick in my lips are sealed in particularly sophisticated. So it's it's being tossed. It's the only thing that's not like a true empty in here. This is a true empty. This is from Buxom. This is the full-on lip cream and cherry flip. I'm so glad that I used it up. It's been sitting for the longest time trying to use it up and finally I can't get any more out of it. So it's gone so. The Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This was really good. This has charcoal in it which I was a little like leery of at first and I did spray it on my hand a couple of times before I sprayed it on my face, but it worked really well. This is a rival, I think, for the all-nighter. I, I really liked it. I don't like the packaging though because you can't actually open it and um, make sure that it's dry and empty and all of that, which is just frustrating to me. From Benefit, this is the Total Moisture Facial Cream. This is nice. I like the Benefit skincare line. They are very fragranced though. Like they have a very distinct scent to them. It's a pleasant scent, but it's a scent nonetheless. So I do like them, but I don't, I wouldn't purchase them. They all come in kits in the past. This is amazing. This is by Cella or Cella. It is the creme de la creme, the very best cream. Oh my gosh. This feels good. This smells good. This smells like an orange dreamsicle. I loved it. I used every little drop that I could squeeze out of it. Really good. I think it's super expensive though. So I probably wouldn't purchase it, but I'd be really excited if I got it in some more of my Ipsy bags because that's where I got that one. From Glow Recipe, this is the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. This was pretty nice. This is very thick uh, and moisturizing. It does have the retinol, so I don't use this on nights when I'm wearing a retinol serum, but I did like it. Um, I have a full size of it, so I'm excited to explore it some more. This is one I'm, I want to purchase. This is the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydra Full 
retexturizing gel cream. So it's supposed to have like some pineapple water in it or pineapple enzymes. I don't know, it worked so well. Like it felt so moisturizing, it felt so good on the skin. I really liked it. If you are interested in it, um, it's going to be in the premium, BoxyCharm Premium, which um, I'll try to remember, hopefully I've already put up a thing, that Choice, if you sign up now, you might be able to do Choice. Um, well, if you had signed up before, you might be able to get it in Choice. Anyway, I really like it. I think it's awesome. Ofra, this is the mascara in black, the HD mascara in black. This stuff I was not expecting to like because I am so picky about mascaras. This is like a tubing mascara. Um, the wand is a little funky. It took a long time to get used to, and I did feel like this dried out a little bit faster than other mascaras that I've used, but it did not budge. Like It will stay on your eyes until you start rubbing them or like if you're having issues with them, it will come off, but it's a good formula. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase it because I just have so many mascaras, but if you're looking for one that's not gonna leave, this is one because I have the worst time with that. Dr. Brandt, this is the pore dermabrasion. So this is the blue one and then there's the black one. I've realized that I like the black one better. It's just a little more gritty. So if you want something less gritty, this one. If you want something more gritty, go with the black. This one is a little less expensive though. But yes, this was good. Um, and I'm basically out of face scrubs now. I'm using one that's like a scrubbing cleanser as my scrub and I'm kind of happy that I seem to, I think I've gotten through all of them. Who knows? Who knows though? I think I might have one at my parents' house and I haven't gotten there yet. So, C Fiore, this is the lotion. Smells so good. C Fiore is such a lovely scent. Really like the scent of this one. I mean, it's not hydrating because it's a perfumed body lotion. It's not meant to be hydrating. From Corez, this is the Lip Butter in Jasmine. And this was really nice. It was really um, kind of a moussey whipped kind of thing. It was, and I just, it smell like Jasmine. It smells like kind of vanilla-y, but it was good. I used it at night and I really liked it. And I'm sad and glad that it's gone. A Wallflower in Black Cherry Merlot. Amazing set, really like it. I just wish the wallflowers lasted longer. Like after a week, I can't really smell them anymore. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This was nice. I've gotten this before. I know it's really expensive though, so I wouldn't purchase it because I don't purchase a lot of really expensive stuff unless it's something that I absolutely love. Caudalie Vino Source SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. I didn't like this. It did not do anything for me. I think I have another one of these, so I might pass it on to um, a friend because I just, I usually don't do that with skincare, but I just wasn't impressed with that one. And maybe somebody who has drier skin will like it more. Acne Serum, Anti-Acne Serum from Mario Badescu. I love this. It really has helped my skin since I started using it and I don't wanna see what happens if I stop using it. Beach Walk by Replica. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is a really good perfume. I just got a rollerball uh, purse spray of this and I would love to have a full size, but they're really, really expensive. And they're more expensive than I really wanna pay for perfumes. I've realized that even though I'm like in the perfume world of YouTube, there's a lot of really expensive perfumes and people just keep buying more and more and more expensive perfumes. And that's not, like, that's not me. I can't afford that. Um, and that's, for me personally, like that would be really irresponsible. So basically anything that's a hundred, over a hundred, that, that's still expensive to me, but people are buying like two, three, four hundred dollar bottles of perfume and my little heart is going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, So Beach Walk by Mason Margiela, that like, that's high, that's, that's the like, in cap of what I wanna spend on perfume. And I wanna get it on sale too, like it has got to be on sale. 
From Ola Henriksen, this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I really liked this eye cream. It started to separate though, which was weird because this was a brand new sample from Sephora, so it wasn't like one that had been sitting around for a while. But I do like this. I think it is a good eye cream. It is one that I might consider purchasing, but I have so much eye cream, like it's ridiculous. But I also have, you know, two more samples of it to use, so I'm good for right now. Epionce, this is the Renewal Eye Cream. This was actually pretty good too. This is definitely more of a night eye cream for me because it was more emollient, but I did like it. Again, eye creams, I just, I have so many. And I just got a whole bunch in from Costco because they were cheap, which was the stupidest reason to buy eye creams. Final Empty Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light. Um, I really scraped the Tarte concealers. I don't find it worth it to take out the stopper. I just, I can't, they're not as easy as the NARS, and the NARS is pretty hard. So yes, there is a little bit left in the bottom, but I'm not going to try to work through it and grab it. So yeah, I do like Tarte Shape Tape. Is it my favorite concealer? I don't think so. I think the NARS is still my favorite. Um, and there's other good ones for about, for much less. Whew, that was a lot of empties. Um, my mouth is dry. My nose is like on overload because of all of the scents. I feel like I finished way more this month than I have recently. I don't know, I need to, um, like I have to go through and count all of them and put them down on my inventory list and see how many things I finished up. But I feel like I finished a lot. I'm gonna put like a little number down here of what my total was for the month. Let me know what you have been using, what you have been liking. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to talk to you next time.